question 3 part A so complete the table 3.1 so we have A1 A2 A1 is the aldehyde A2 is ketone reagent that can use to show the positive uh, results okay, is the Dolan's reagent because uh, we want to distinguish the A1 and A2 so Dolan's reagent use A1 will react because it's aldehyde so it will form silver mirror or we can use KMNO4 because it's purple color uh, you must put acidified KMNO4 Okay, then the uh, A1, this aldehyde, will turn purple solution colorless. Or you can use alkaline iodine. Uh, so, because here is the methyl ketone, so it will form yellow precipitate. Uh, but it's, for this part, the alkaline iodine, uh, it might not really be the good answer because. Uh, it say that you okay, can use different reagent for each test so if you use this one then uh, uh, later there is another part right that need to use alkaline iodine so better choose dolens or the chemical form okay so to distinguish this uh, b1 and b2 uh, we can use uh, alkaline iodine equals so because B1 is has methyl ketone, so B1 will give yellow precipitate. So this is ethyl ketone, will not. Okay, so next part, C1 and C2 are, this one is ester C2. C1 is the carbonyl groups here. So the ketone. So we can use 2,4 DNPH to distinguish them. C1, which has the carbonyl group, will give orange or red precipitate C2 nothing okay to distinguish D1 and D2 we can use the bromine water okay because they have the OH so this one cannot distinguish using sodium so the difference now is the double bond so D2 will turn the orange to colorless means decolorized bromine because this one okay d2 is has a cc double bond here okay part two a1 and a2 they are structural isomers define structural isomer okay so again you must mention which one is the same which one is different so is the molecules with the same molecular formula same molecular formula uh, but different structural formula give the systematic name of B2 B2 okay this one this is first carbon second carbon the carbon right okay so therefore we know that this one we can call pentane 3 1 okay or pentane pentane 3 okay o n e is actually pentanone right so pentane 3 okay 1 okay so this one deduce molecular formula of d1 so d1 is this the cyclic c is has 5c 1 2 3 4 5 H is has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oxygen is has one. So it's C five H ten O. D two form polymer Z when heated gently. D two is this, huh? D two. Right. Again D two it has CC double bond and OH so we're going to focus on this part because this part is going to form the polymer uh, main chain 
can identify the type of polymers formed from D2 because it's CC double bond is from polymer, it must be addition polymer. Draw one repeat unit of Z, so you need to know from just now the structure. The D2 is actually look like this. So we focus on the CC double bond and this is the side chain. Okay, so when this CC double bond, the pi bonds break, open up, so it will form tails, right? And these pi bonds disappear. So it will form this polymer structure. And this is one repeat unit. Okay, organic compound E is contains three carbon atom. Three carbon. E reacts with coal acidified chemino 4 to form single compound F okay. with this uh, molar mass 154.9. Okay, E, it shows that okay, it has no broad absorption here. Okay, it has a, a, an absorption around 1,500 to 600, telling us that this one is the CC double bond. Means the E, okay, it has the CC double bond. Right. And the F now you see there is a broad peak, the absorption is around 3200 something. Uh, this is uh, telling us that the F is has the hydroxy group, the, the ROH, uh, this one, hydroxy group. So we know that the E reacts with chemino 4 from alcohol. So means the E, the CC double bond opened up and is from this F, which is alcohol, is from the diol. Right? Oxidation of the CC double bond. Okay, now this part done. Now let's look at what is one. Okay, this one is given. Okay, both spectra show absorptions between uh, 2850 and 2. 950 okay which is indicate ch bond so this is not really that significant okay use two ir spectra in table uh, and the table 3.2 identify the functional group present only in e e is the first ir spectrum so it shows the cc double bond functional group is alkene remember is as functional group you just choose from here this column so it's the alkene Okay, explanation why. So you just need to mention the absorption. Absorption within 1500 here to 1680. So it's, uh, this one okay, is just present in the East IR spectrum. Okay, use IR spectrum of F to identify the functional group form when E reacts with coal dilute acidified chemino 4 so we know that it's a hydroxy functional group again uh, must choose from here hydroxy okay this range okay explanation a broad absorption within 3200 to 3650 okay present in this ir for the f only okay f's ir spectrum only yeah uh. Okay, the mass spectrum of E show molecular ion peak and M plus 2 of approximately equal abundance R is telling us that it has one bromine atom. Very important info. When the M and M plus 2, the abundance is almost the same. So we know that okay, it has one bromine atom. Okay, deduce the relative molar molecular mass of E. Uh, this one is quite easy, right? So you just use 120 times 50% plus 122 times 50% over total abundance. 
hundred. So you get one two one. Part four. Use the information in three C suggest the structure for E. Okay, first we need to find the hydrogen number, uh, which is one twenty. Okay, minus thirty six three carbon, and one bromine. So we get five hydrogen. Molecular formula C three H five Br. So we can uh, roughly deduce the structure now. Okay, three carbons as is given in the question, and it has one double bond. So we put the bromine on the last carbon, right? So here going to form diols later with KMnO four. So therefore the structures roughly look like this, right? So <clears throat> after that, uh, this one will oxidize to form this diol. Okay, the structure of E is uh, you can put this one or this one, no problem. Okay, part five, complete the equations for the reactions of E with cool acidified KMnO4 to form F. This is very easy. You can just give the molecular formula C3H5Br that obtained just now. Okay, then uh, just put the molecular formula for the <clears throat> compound F C3H7BRO2 if you want to give the structural formula also can no problem so you just put CH2BR CH CH2 double bond is here and after that is formed CH2BR CH okay, OH CH2OH right so it's 3 bromo propane 1 2 diol Okay, part D. C2 can be synthesized using A1. A1 is this one, aldehyde, as a single organic reactant to form the C2, uh, this one, C2 ester. So here we roughly know that the A1 needs to undergo uh, reduction and oxidation. If the A1 undergo reduction, it will form this propane 1 O if it's undergo oxidation uh, insert one more oxygen here to form the propanoid acid right after that when these two uh, products form then okay it will undergo acidification to form the ester C2 here right uh, this is the the, the planning uh, for for the to get this uh, C2 so first take one portion of A1 to react with the sodium borohydride. Okay, and the propane 1O or, or this CH3, CH2, CH2OH will be produced. This one. Take another portion of A1 react with acidified protasium dichromate. So the propanoid acid will be produced. This one. Then add this propane 1 O and propanoid acid together with concentrated H2SO4 heat under reflux to form the C2. Uh, that's the plan. That's all. Thank you.